This is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Saw some stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world colder than you can imagine. Creatures that suppressed the light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death. The others... They didn't go so quiet. Not until I shut them up. Not sure how long I stayed after that. Had to mod my ghost to survive. Used the parts from... I did what it took to get off-world. And now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but... How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloan. Anathema. Calamity. That which cannot, must not come to pass. A wordless denial. A fleeing god. Betrayal. And escape. The pursuit for the final shape. Almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's a little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends, like Amanda. Sometimes I wonder, if I returned to the tower, would it even be my home anymore? Or would I just be a phantom? A forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. 
Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know. And avoid the one I dread. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end, regardless of where I end up when it's done. Ah, I see you. You see me too? Ha, good, good. Then it is all working. You, me, this projector. Even if we sometimes falter. There is a war building in Sloane's eyes. One that Zivu Arath will exploit as she did with Osiris. Savathun wore his face. But it was Zivu Arath who took his light. Her whips drove him into a frenzy. Lured him into danger. Forced Sagira's sacrifice and left him to die. Now she twists my thoughts into thorns, draws out the faces of the suffering Elixni into my dreams. She whispers that I took pleasure in their pain. I see their eyes as they died by my hands, and they see me. She does not lie. She challenges what you hold as a strength. Osiris's ambition, my protection. Sloan's duty. I have felt how the right word, the right face, can incite one to violence. But I have changed. What she has taken, it will not break me. Sloan is no warrior of glass, but the war within her. Even stone crumbles under enough strife. Stay with her, Guardian, as I should have with Osiris. We must offer her what support we are able, even if she does not want it. Saladin Forge. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just thinking about the bad old days, like you said. And that bar you used to tend at the base of Felwinter Peak. You went by Wu Ming, as I recall. Made some coin selling drinks to the Iron Lords. Then spent it hiring them to do jobs on the side. Remember all of that? Yeah, I remember. You left out the part where you threatened to burn it down. Maybe I should have. I never asked you why you ran that little operation. What did you stand to gain? With how your pack of wolves tipped their bartender? Not much. That place never got too busy, but... I had my regulars, and they all had their problems. Some of them just weren't that easy to see from on top of a mountain. Maybe I wanted to call them to your attention. Ah, so you had a better perspective. Not better, just different. Huh. I suppose I can see the value in that. Everything's got value, old wolf. You just gotta know where to look. 